Roll call of aldermen. Alderman Kinsella. Here. Alderman Hazel. Alderwoman Pusa. Alderwoman Duco. Here. Alderman Randall. Here. Alderman Ferguson. Here. Alderman Anthony. Here. Alderman Ovian. Here. Alderman Dentleman. Alderwoman Schaefer. Here. Alderwoman Steele. Here. Alderman Rothweiler. Here. Alderman Elmore. Here. Alderman Wygott. Here. Alderman Wigginton. Here. Alderman Barfield. Here. Alderman Pusa and Alderman uh, Hazel uh, and called. And Dittleman. And Dittleman, we we're having a senior moment, but we think he called. Yeah. <laughs> so the three of them are excused. Uh, roll call of department heads. City Treasurer Hart. Here. City Attorney Horner. Police Chief Bill Clay. Fire Chief Tom Poor. Here. Finance Director Jamie Matrix. Here. City Engineer Tim Gregowitz. Here. Director of Maintenance Ken Vaughn. Director of Public Works Jason Poole. Here. Director of Wastewater Royce Carlisle. Here. Interim Director of Residential and Commercial Development, Anissa McCaskill. Director of Library, Leander Spearman. Director of IT, Scott Markovich. I think I just about excused them all tonight. <laughs> Leander's excused, Anissa's excused, but Eric's here for her. Chief Poor's, Chief Poor, Chief, uh, Chief Poor's here. Uh, Chief Clay was off today, so he's excused, but Assistant Chief Icecant's here. Kenny Vaughn was off today, and I excused him. And Harner is not feeling great tonight, so Brian Flynn is filling those shoes. I think it's everybody. It is. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, for those who are able, if you please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. I don't know that we have any massive amount of strangers, but if we would have to leave for storms, follow our police officers out across the hall to the, uh, to the basement steps. If we had to leave for smoke or fire, head outside, and we would appreciate it if you could head over towards the courthouse so we can get a head count of who's all with who. So we appreciate that. Hopefully we never have to do that. At this time, uh, we have no public hearing this evening. So I will open public participation if anyone would like to address the council tonight. This gentleman here, I believe, would like to. Do I need the microphone? Well, step into it. So at least let Jenny get your name. Yeah. Uh, so uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Matt Klosterman. I currently serve as superintendent for Belleville District 118. Uh, the purpose for me being here tonight is to... Uh, I'm nearing 28 years in, in District 118, and, and at the end of next week, uh, I conclude my career in the district, uh, the last 14 being a superintendent. And I wanted to take just a minute tonight to say thank you to Mayor Eckert, all the council men and women that have been in position during my 28 years, and, and uh, particularly the last 14, all the department heads, everybody that works for, for those department heads. We've had an unbelievable relationship with the city. I'm very thankful uh, for the cooperation and the support that we've had over my 14 years as superintendent. One to come and say thank you uh, for everything that you do, and I think you're doing an awesome job for the city. So, Well, Matt, we appreciate you. And when did you start? You started in 04 or what month? Uh, July 1 would have been my first day. You were just about six months before me, so we've pretty much gone the whole time together. Yeah. And I don't... I don't show any record that you have one of these, but we don't. Uh, this is one of our bicentennial coins. You know, the back is the number on the back is uh, the last two digits of 04, the year you started. So I want to present that to you as a spoken of our appreciation. I'd be honored to accept that. Uh, Thank you. Because it's, uh, you've been fabulous to work with. Yeah. Uh, I mean, many times when Bad weather hits and they got to make a decision on school. Matt and I and Jeff Dozier talked maybe two, three, and Marty at five. And then I called Jason or somebody and say, okay, tell me if you can really get those streets clean tonight. <laughs> so, <laughs> we make decisions together. Absolutely. And uh, we work together. Unfortunately, a few times uh, we had to call the police and they worked with you about different things or the fire department. And we've had a great relationship. So uh, Absolutely. we wish you the best uh, as you move forward. Appreciate but, uh, it. You're, uh, Brian Boyce has some call, uh, big shoes to fill, because you've done a great job. I don't know about that. District 118 is an awesome place to be. Uh, and again, I can't say enough about the support and cooperation from the city and everybody attached to it that we've run across. And I think we've dealt with pretty much every department in the city at some point or another. So thank you to everybody that, that has a hand in taking care of our district.
Thanks, Matt. Were you in the school board yet when he first started? Yes, sir. Oh, see, <laughs> see, we took him off your hands. <laughs> I voted in favor of him because you took him off your wow. hands. Wow, <laughs> there's some history here tonight. He was a tear to my eye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm, we're gonna we're gonna move on. <laughs> okay, is there anyone else for public participation? Hearing none, I'm gonna close public participation. We have no other uh, recognitions or uh, presentations tonight or appointments. At this time, I go to the approval of the minutes. Is someone willing to make a motion to approve the city council meeting minutes and executive session minutes for June 3rd, 2019? Alderman Wigington, second by Schaefer. Any discussion on those minutes, either set? Hearing none, all in favor of receiving and filing, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We go to claims, payroll, and disbursements. I'd ask if there's someone willing to make a motion to approve the claims and disbursements in the amount of $789,783.99 and payroll in the amount of $877,261.72. Do I hear a motion, Alderman Steele? Second by Alderman Kinsella. Any discussion on the claims, payroll, or disbursements? Roll call. Kinsella? Aye. Duco? Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Motion carries. J Jamie, I was just glad to see those smaller numbers this month. Uh, Treasurer's report, is someone willing to make a, a, a motion to receive and file the Treasurer's report of May, 19, May 2019 <coughs> and also the statement of cash an investment report for May 2019. So, Motion by Rothweiler, do I hear a second? Second by Schaefer, do I hear any additions or corrections to those two reports? Hearing none, all in favor of receiving and filing for audit signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We go on to um, administrations. At this time, is there someone willing to uh, make a motion to approve a five-year lease space agreement starting October 1st, 2019 through September 30th, 2024, uh, between the city of Belleville and the American Red Cross for number two Elm Drive, Belleville. Motion by Alderman Schaefer. Do I hear second by Alderman Wygon? We did this probably, what, um, six, eight months ago? It was last year. This last time. year this time? Okay. They asked to not only renew it, but to extend it. We didn't, Tom and I talked, we didn't see a problem. It's worked very well. It's actually a win-win, and uh, consequently, we did a little bit of work in that house, which we needed to do, and uh, it's, um, it's a good thing having the Red Cross here in town. If no one has any further questions, I'll, we got a motion and a second. Uh, roll call. Duco? Aye. Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Wigington, Barfield, Aye. Kinsella. Aye. Motion carries. I'd ask for a motion to consider approving, authorizing the scrap, the discard of a, our, our auction of a miscellaneous computer equipment pursuant to section 11-76-4 of the Illinois Municipal Code 65 ILCS 511-76-4. All memory was erased and removed from the equipment. Do I have a motion? Motion by Schaefer, second by Ferguson. Any discussion on this? Roll call. Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Obian? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Kinsella? Aye. Duco? Aye. Motion carries. Next one is, I'd ask for a motion to terminate the property use agreement with the Belleville Urban Garden Society for the unimproved real estate located at 804 808 South High without cause pursuant to section four thereof. Let me, let me explain first of all, um, we originally told, when we signed this agreement, we originally told them after we got back with them that they were gonna have to get insurance. Jason and I talked about this. We have a little community garden over at Bicentennial Park. 
we don't make them get insurance. When they got, when they did this check in and, and they basically put in sunflowers already and something else that they're not going to be there all the time. They're going to sell them at the market come fall. Uh, it was hundreds and hundreds of dollars for this volunteer group to get some liability insurance for a, and one of them actually you would almost have to set them, they, they didn't do it, but they could, they would, they want them. When you do that, they almost want to set them up as a non-for-profit. Right. And this is just a group of ladies. So Jason said he works with groups all the time through the parks department to do different programs like this, especially different pilots. So we talked it over with Garrett and Garrett said, why don't we just resend what we have and let them do it, see if it works this year. We can always grow from it or do, you know, a bad choice of road pun, but we can always let it take off further in the future if it, if it develops further. But I mean, we don't think we should have to make them force them. We didn't do the other, we got two other community gardens in town and we don't make them, one of them is our property. The other one isn't, right, Jason? But, but the one that is, we don't make them get insurance. So in fairness, we decided to, to treat it. He's, he's overseeing it from the Parks Department. Okay, so everybody understand the motion. The motion would be to terminate the agreement you passed several months ago. Consilla and made a second by Anthony. Any other discussion from all of you? Roll call. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygott? Aye. Williamton? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Consilla? Aye. Duco? Aye. Randall? Aye. Motion carries. Before I do the next one, I'm going to have Tim come up and just kind of give a little bit of a... Uh, Tim, our city engineer, Gregowitz, has been involved with this. He did, some, he did some counts. This was brought up to the traffic committee. They came to my office and we talked about it uh, with uh, Sergeant Rust and the Alderman of the Ward and Tim and I and others. And uh, the stops, the four-way stop that was years ago at Garden and McClintock was moved to McKinley and McClintock when we had the bike trail and it was on the pa on the street and they and they at that time recommended we did it now probably what 90 90 for some five percent of the people take the above ground bike trail over the bridge and um, there's truly Tim you want to explain from here more traffic at garden right right I, I did a traffic study uh, a 24-hour study, and um, the, the traffic on McClintock there in between uh, Carlisle and uh, McKinley, there's about 8,500 cars that are going through there. Uh, and once you get past Garden, it, it, it drops down to about 7,000. Um, so the majority of the people are heading south towards Mascuda on Garden. There's about 1,300 cars that are going on Garden. Um, Garden to the north doesn't have as many. There's probably a little under 300 that are that are going north towards uh, Carlisle Avenue. So the majority of the, the the traffic is 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 coming from Carlisle to Garden, heading south to Mascuda, and vice versa, coming up the other way. That's their way to get in between. Um, so I mean, the proposal is is to move the the stop signs there to to Garden and eliminate the ones at McKinley. Uh, we. This has been in committee, traffic committee, for a couple months now. Uh, we had the police department go out and, uh, you know, check on the accidents that were happening there. And I think within the last year or two, uh, there was eight accidents, and uh, they're not minor accidents. You know, there's, there's, they're, they're coming up with a pretty good clip of speed there um, when, when the accident occurs. Uh, so, uh, from a safety standpoint, um, and. You know, there, there's still access to the bike trail. Um, they would just, instead of using McKinley, they're going to use Garden. Uh, we have striping there already, uh, and um, there's there's other things that we can do there uh, to Im improve the the safety. Um, but uh, that's there's going to be some dollars committed towards that. But right now, I think we're just looking at um, moving the stop sign from uh, McKinley to Garden. Uh, to accommodate the majority of the traffic, that, that's where they're at. So we've heard, and the two aldermen of the ward have heard from many, and as I told them, you're unfortunately never going to make everyone happy. But it does seem scientifically with the uh, talking to the police department based on crashes and based on number of cars, 
it seems like it makes sense to bring the four-way back to garden. The, the two things we're gonna try to do with this, if it's approved, one, we're gonna make sure that we have message boards and ample um, advertisement that it's gonna be changed. Two, we are looking at, and we're trying to figure out cost, but starting coming up from Carlisle, when you're coming to, coming to the first stop there, what used to be the stop at McKinley, or still is tonight, about having some signs that would show your speed. Yeah, you'll, you'll see this, I think Fairview and Freeburg have them, they're solar powered speed limit signs. So your speed limit's set in there. So if it's 25, as soon as you get over 25, it starts flashing at you. Uh, and uh, the locations would be where I set the traffic counters. The traffic counters I set also calculate the speed of every vehicle that's going over there. And uh, I can tell you there was, there was at least 15 cars over 60 miles an hour in that section. So that, that's what we talked to the police department about. And uh, to those people, um, beware. But, but I'm, so this is what we're proposing. The aldermen, I believe, are both in favor of it. Uh, of this, so I just wanted to explain with Tim to kind of explain where we were at, and also the fact that this has been talked about for a couple months. Yes, and, and if, if this is approved tonight, it, it doesn't go into effect until 10, 10 days, the ordinance. Yeah. Uh, but what I plan to do is, is uh, I have changeable message boards that will be set up um, pretty much at the same location where I had the speed counters, um, just notifying everybody that's coming in and out that inter that that interchange or inter intersection there that this things are going to change and it'll be on either side of garden um, i'll have these message boards there to kind of notify the locals that hey it's, things are changing here and it'll be seven days before and seven days after um, and pretty much where you see those changeable message boards that's where i plan to put the speed limit signs the solar powered ones that flash at you um, those those are going to take probably four to six weeks um, after we order them um, and there are some other things that we're looking at. Um, there are options that we could, we could put LEDs uh, on the signs, but that's something that's a monetary thing that we're gonna have to send maybe back to committee for approval, or I don't know if you guys, you know, wanted to, you know, do it at the next meeting, but um, we, that's we, something uh, that really wasn't, you know, we, we haven't, looked at the numbers yet to see yeah. what that's going to cost. We, we, were, we were asked by a few about having four ways at each intersection, but that's, we don't believe it's warranted here. There's not that high of crashes at each of them. We did that downtown here, and I had many people upset at first, but then they kind of bought into it uh, on Washington. We had some of the highest accidents in town were at 2nd and Washington. And then when we had the construction going on on First Street is when the courthouse people asked us to put a, a two-way stop, but stop Washington traffic because pedestrians just couldn't get across. And what they were trying to do, they were trying to beat the light at Illinois Street so they would, they would accelerate at, at, uh, right past the post office. So it was a lot of screeching tires. It, it, that ended up being a situation where the two within two blocks having two stops turned out to be the right thing to do but that isn't always what we're trying to uh trying to accomplish so uh, uh this time if there's no questions for tim we should put it on the huh i do have a question yeah more curiosity than anything else when you did the traffic study yes. was it while school was in session or after school was uh out for the uh this the, this was the it was the Thursday before the traffic committee, so school was out. School was out. Yeah. Any kind of estimate what that traffic count might be if school was in session? Uh, I, I don't have a guesstimate. Um, normally, we like we like to count traffic Monday through Thursday because Fridays could skew things, and we don't do them on the weekends. Um, but yeah, you would probably see, you know, the. Well, when I. When you, when you do traffic counts, I, I, I counted traffic when I was working for the, the state, um, and there's, there's factors um, put into numbers based on the time of year. And um, usually during the summertime, you have more traffic because more people are out and about, and, and you would put a, a factor. So to, to get the average annual daily traffic for something in July, you'd have to reduce the number a little bit. 
but if you were counting in say January, where there's not that much traffic compared to July, you would increase that number by a certain factor to, um, and these, these factors are based on um, counts throughout the whole state. So you would increase that number in January to give your average annual daily traffic based on counting in January. Um, the, st the state is counting every month of the year, so they have factors for every month. Okay, so at this time, if someone's willing, I'd like to ask if there's a willingness <coughs> to make a motion to uh, add four, a four-way stop at Garden and McClintock. Alderman Elmore, second by Alderman Wygott. Any further discussion? I can answer Alderman Randall's question. Now we have a motion. Um, I can guess that <laughs> it would be more. Uh, there's Bound Valley School that people use to cut through that maybe not have, was not in those counters. Um, and lastly, I point out that when you look at the stretch of stop signs from Mandalay to Scuda Avenue, there's only one section that goes three blocks without a stop sign, and that was from McKinley to Pennsylvania. Um, so this proposed change would make it a two block stretch, which would then be consistent with the rest of McClintock from Carlisle to Mascuda. Every two blocks, there's a stop sign the way it was originally designed many, many years ago, and it only changed because of the bike path. Yeah. And uh, so now it's gonna be an epic consistency of every two blocks is a stop sign, which has not been the case. There was kind of a stretch that people were picking up speed. And, and, and the police department totally agrees with this and as a city engineer. So we have a motion and we have a second. Is there any further questions? Uh, all in favor to approve this four-way stop and have the proper ordinance drawn signify by saying aye. 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 Oppose? <laughs> motion carries. I this time ask for a motion to eliminate the four-way stop sign at McClintock and McKinley. Alderman Elmore, second by Alderman Wygant. Any further discussion on that situation? All in favor of 11B2, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> Motion carries. And that was also to have the proper ordinance drawn. Failed to say that. Okay, we move on to 11C. Streets and Grades, Alderman Wigington. Uh, on behalf of Streets and Grades Committee, I'd like to make, make a motion to accept Gonzalez Company's LLC design proposal for Bicentennial Park Spillway in the amount of $47,734, TIF 16, so moved. Motion by Alderman Wigington, second by Alderman Schaefer. Discussion on 11C1, reference this uh, spillway. And, and uh, you may have heard in our state um, very favorable budget for Belleville, we're gonna get the 200,000 mm -hmm. to uh, fix the spillway. So that's, that's excellent. And hopefully we won't have this ongoing saga that we've had last several years occasionally. Yeah. So we have a motion and we have a second, right? Yep. And any further questions? This is to design it and to uh, get, it, get it ready for going out for bid, right, Tim? Yes, Roll call. Anthony? Aye. Obian? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygott? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Kinsella? Aye. Zuko? Aye. Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Motion carries. Alderman Wigington, 11 C2. 2. On behalf of Streets and Grades Committee, I'd like to make a motion to approve Main Street SAG 2019 Intergovernmental Agreement with the Illinois Department of Natural Resources for repairs in the area of 9800 West Main Street. So moved. Motion by Alderman Wigington. Second by Alderman Barfield. Um, any discussion on this? This is, we've had a problem out here for a number of years and uh, we're finally getting around to getting all the state to uh, buy into helping us get it repaired through the IDNR. This is, this is some subsidence out here, right, Tim? Yeah. yeah. So, okay, we have a motion, we have a second. If there's no further questions, roll call. Obian? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Why not? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Kinsella? Aye. Zuko? Aye. Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. And 11C3. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Whoa, I better pay attention here. Uh, on behalf of Streets and Grades Committee, I'd like to make a motion to approve scrapping a 2,000 U.S. cargo trailer VIN 
4PL400G24Y104-0059 from the Sanitation Department. So moved. Motion by Alderman Wigington. Do I hear a second? Second by Alderman Wygod. Do I hear discussion on 11C3? Roll call. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygod? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Kinsella? Aye. Zuko? Aye. Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Motion carries. We have no, no communications hey, tonight. I just want to say one thing on that uh, 9800 West Main, uh, Mr. Gregowitz worked a long time with the IDNR to correct this problem. It was not an easy no. process, and we finally no. got him to sign off on we, it. We've been, and, uh, uh, I mean, we, we really appreciate that. We've been dealing this for a number of years, so we are happy to see some movement in the right direction. We have no communications this evening. We have no petitions. I'd ask for a motion to read by title only, Resolution 3362. Motion by Consilla, second by Duco. All in favor of reading resolution 3362 by title only signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. 14A, resolution 3362, a resolution accepting an abandoned residential property municipal relief program grant from the Illinois Housing Development Authority. Do I hear a motion to approve? Alderman, Sch Alderman Schaefer, second by Steele. Any discussion on this motion? Roll call. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Kinsella? Aye. Zuko? Aye. Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Motion carries. I'd ask for a motion to read by title only. Ordinance 8344, 8345, 8346, and 8347. So moved. Can we read them as a group? Yes. Yeah, yeah read them as a group. What's your name? Wigan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize you. Hey, and you. by groups, okay. And Please. Schaefer agrees, second it, and by group. By title only and as a group. Yep. All in favor of that motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> motion carries. 15A, Ordinance 8344, 2019, an ordinance amending Chapter 75 traffic schedules of the revised ordinances of the City of Belleville, Illinois, as amended by amending portions of sections thereof. 15B, Ordinance 8345, 2019, an ordinance amending Chapter 75 traffic schedules of the revised ordinances of the City of Belleville, Illinois, as amended by amending portions of sections thereof. 15C, Ordinance 8346, 2019, an ordinance authorizing sale and conversion of personal property, computer equipment. 15B, Ordinance 8347, 2019, an ordinance authorizing sale and conversion of personal property trailer. I hear a motion to approve those. Uh, Alderman Schaefer, second by Ferguson, to approve ordinance 8344, 8345, 8346, and 8347. Any further discussion on those four ordinances? Roll call. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Kinsella? Aye. Duco? Aye. Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Those motions carry. Unfinished business, miscellaneous and new business. I'd ask for a motion to approve the motor fuel claims, 23,797 and 33 cents. Randall, second by Ferguson. Discussion on motor fuel claims, roll call. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Kinsella? Aye. Duco? Aye. Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Obian? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Motion carries. At this time, I'd ask for a motion to go into executive. No, we're not, no, we're not, not here. We're not going to do it. No, we don't have it. I'd ask for a motion to, ex to be it's adjourned. Uh, so moved. <laughs> Short of a meeting, this is a tough one. It happens, let me tell you. This chair sometimes can get a little. Motion by Wigington, second right. by Schaefer. Anybody opposed being sure adjourned? No. Say signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, you can stay. Thanks. Your tongue got wrapped around your eye, too, you couldn't see what you were.